talking about how to get rid of street flooding. I mean, when it rains one to two inches an hour, which we know it's doing more of. And we saw we that in Charleston. That we saw yes. that in South Carolina, everywhere. This is the way to get rid of it fast. Take a look at this. When streets flood, they tend to stay like that for quite a while. For example, South Carolina's flooding in October. Uh, one of the problems that you'll see are these little drains here. As you know, most roadways have these tiny holes in them to drain the water away. But what if American streets weren't so waterproof? Would they flood less? The city of Atlanta is now in the middle of a $66 million green roads project. Crews are busy digging up century-old streets and replacing them with special bricks that soak up rainwater. Okay, here, let's do it together. Okay. One, two, three. Flash flood. You see how quickly it then allows it to seep through, to infiltrate. Oh, yeah, it did. So it went right down into it. Watershed Commissioner Joanne Macrina gave us a look. This is not Dorothy's brick road. These bricks are, are specially made. When crews lay them down, they leave spaces in between them to let water through, a lot like rain falling on grass. So it both stores the rainwater and cleans the rainwater. It's called permeable pavement, stopping a flood up here by sending it down here. Way underneath the road, construction crews lay a series of pipes that actually bring the rainwater filtered by all these rocks into a nearby stream bed. It's flooded in every single direction. On a traditional road, cans, trash, animal waste, whatever else is on the road just flows along with the flood. This is more expensive, right? It, it is more expensive. However, when you think about your traditional design, this is actually much, much better in our environment. When it's completed early next year, this will be the largest permeable pavement project on the continent. The commissioner is already taking calls from other cities such as Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Portland, Oregon, San Francisco. All interested in making their side streets a little less flood prone. And as you can see, this is the brick here. Jim, you can see the little holes that let the water go through. It spaces it out. Yeah, it spaces it out. Well, this has got some girth to it, It too. does, so it you does. Can you can see that. that's, a, that's a broken one. So it, it, that, that could change what we see on today's streets. But you can't put it on highways because you can't roll semi-trucks over that. Right, I mean, that's yeah. absolutely, especially in these days of heavy rainfall. All right, Jen, we're ready for our weekend. Tell us about it. All right, that's really interesting, guys. And we look ahead to the weekend.